Good morning, I'm Jennifer Nora, and I am a forensic pathologist. I am the first pathologist that ESI has hired, and I'm very, very excited to be here. Just in general, I think most people think of pathologists as those who work in the hospital. They're the laboratory nerds. They're the ones that read the biopsies that your doctor sends in and then give your doctor a diagnosis. As forensic pathologists, we did an extra year of subspecialty training specifically in forensic pathology and we learned about um, how to do autopsies, primarily to determine the cause and manner of death. We worked with attorneys and law enforcement, as well as uh, reaching out to families and answering all their questions that they have, um, especially during times where they lost a loved one and, and it's a very difficult and challenging time for them. And we, of course, testify in court. When I learned more about ESI, um, I realized that ESI is really, there's a lot of teamwork. Um, where people from different specialties in engineering work together on a project and I'm hoping to bring my background in forensic pathology, um, reviewing injuries, um, the human factor side, and I hope to be able to cooperate with others um, on various different types of projects, anywhere from whether firearms, um, child abuse cases, industrial accidents, aviation accidents, um, there's just so many different areas. When I worked as a forensic pathologist, um, I'd like to say my previous life, uh, we're pretty much solo workers. There's not a whole lot of like teamwork. Um, we could run cases by each other, but there's not a whole lot of um, I guess, projects where we would work together with a common goal, um, which kind of fit um, the path for some pathologists because they're, you know, for especially with forensic pathologists, you kind of have all kinds of interesting personalities and some people work better alone. I'm kind of one of those people that would prefer to work in a team and see where I, you know, fit um, in the bigger picture.